Oh my, this has to be one of my favorite photos ever. In this video, we're going to do it a little different. I'm about to do a portrait photo shoot, but I'm only gonna be using a 28 millimeter. This is the Sigma 28 millimeter F1.4. This definitely feels like a challenge because normally I'm used to a 50 mil or an 85 mil or the occasional 35 mil, but yeah, this is a whole lot wider than I'm actually used to. So I think without any further ado, let's get into the video. I made it to Brunswick and this is a neighborhood in Melbourne that is famous for its edgy streets. Some of the shop fronts actually look like they were stuck in time. As you can tell from this golden glow behind me, the sun is about to set. That leaves us with some nice daytime shots, but also some nighttime shots. And we are going to be meeting up with Maddie. I photographed her a couple times before and here we are today again. Hey! Hello! You know what? Normally I like to chat before we start, but now we still have some. Yeah, cool. What if you sit here? I shoot through the window. Hi, I really like the table and the chair. Can I take some photos of my friend here? Okay. Yeah, is that okay? Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Stunning. Okay, so what I'm struggling with is I have too much reflection in my photo. So I'm gonna use a polarizing filter to get rid of the reflections. So we bump up the shutter speed and the ISO a little bit. So cool, oh my gosh. Yes. The polarizer makes the biggest difference, what the hell. Oh, these are gonna add it up so nice. So because I was shooting through a window, I had to use manual focus because otherwise my camera will not make Maddie sharp in my photos. I'm gonna shoot from a little bit lower. Oh, these colors are sick. Oh shit. Do you mind if I stand here and shoot through? Okay. <laughs> What if you stand here, and I'm gonna stand all the way from there? A little bit closer. Oh my, this has to be one of my favorite photos ever. How sick. That's so cool. I think it's so edgy. Do you mind if we take one more photo in front of you? <laughs> Your shop is perfect for it. I'll show you the photos. It's like this. How cool. Oh, wow, so nice. Your shop looks very um, old school in a good way. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Love. I was eyeing off the yellowish. I, I knew it. I knew it. 
I'm so predictable. I want sort of something you can lean on or sit on. Maybe something like the pole and I'll photograph into this direction. This is honestly my favorite thing to do. Not really have a plan. Oh, love that. how this is gonna work out but I think the key with this is just try and look into the light oh if you can lift up your chin the slightest maybe try and like look into the light yes 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 oh my god yeah I like that a lot and I'm sure you can relate to this but when you're shooting on the streets it can be quite overwhelming there's a lot to look at, a lot to shoot, everything looks good and what do you choose? So what I do to avoid getting overwhelmed is I try and stick to a certain area. So before I started shooting, I already knew that I wanted to walk this route. So I just stick to one street and then what happens within there is fine. But at least then I know I'm making the most of it and I'm not just willy-nilly running up and down and not really shooting as much as I wanted to. I'm sorry if that footage was a little bit shaky. I had one too many coffees. I wonder what would happen if you keep placing your hand here, but you sort of lean out of the box? I think we got it. Thanks, that was great. Yeah, so happy. Gives me something to edit. Yeah, we flow like very well. Yeah. So the 28 millimeter from now onwards is definitely going to be in my camera bag for every portrait photo shoot, because it is just, I had this sort of movie look in mind and this lens really enhanced that. It's not too wide, so I could still take some nice close-up shots of her without it getting warped and just looking weird. And I'm back in the car already. I wanted to let you know that all of the photos you've seen in this video are edited with my Lightroom presets. If you want to give them a try, you can download them in the description. They come with a bunch of editing tutorials and some raw photos of mine that you can play around with. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay. Bye-bye. Doei.